Welcome to part two of our review of the first round of the Come Up Extreme Winch Truck Series. Saturday's stages were to be a mix of rock climbs and winch hills with the occasional sprint sections thrown in for good measure. Only nine of the ten trucks would start the second day of competition. Dave Burrows withdrawing the farm truck due to a sprained thumb sustained the previous night. Paul Simmons and Nathan Mills would stamp their authority on the event in their GU Nissan Patrol with the highest score on the first morning stage and then following that up with a win on every other stage except stage 8. Their consistent driving and accuracy around the bunting and marker poles would be rewarded with no penalties on any stage. By the end of the Saturday stages, they were leading the event with a 36 point buffer. They'll need to continue their approach into the Sunday stages as a penalty or even a DNF could easily undo all that great work. Consistency is always the key to doing well in the Come Up Extreme Winch Challenge and that was what Chris Cale and Navigator Luke McNichol were all about in the Redbeard Racing Toyota Land Cruiser. They were the only team other than our leaders to be penalty free throughout the day. And that consistency was well rewarded as they moved up from fourth place at the finish of Friday to be in second outright at the end of the day. Pete Bannister was also on a charge early on Saturday morning in the Mav. He and Navigator Tim Simpson were fastest on the first morning stage, SS4. Unfortunately, they'd cop a massive 30 points in penalties dropping them back to 7th on the stage. They'd recover well however, despite another 10 point penalty in Stage 5. They'd be 2nd fastest in Stage 6 and 7 and pulled off a win on the final stage, robbing Semmons and Mills of a clean sweep of stage victories. At the end of the day, their comeback performance would see them in third outright. Join us for part three when we cover off the other six teams from Saturday's stages.